underrepresented groups who are bringing a new set of strengths are going to make you smarter um, and stronger. Totally agree. I don't so many times uh, when things happened, uh, we need to be flexible to provide problem solving solutions. So uh, I think that's our advantage. I mean, it's not like competing with men, but it's just uh, we have our own advantage. So we should, we should use that. I think we need to get more women into leadership positions to, to be those mentors and, and role models. And the community needs to be cognizant of the contributions that, that they make. I think it's through diversity that we gain strength and I think there's data to support the fact that if we have, you have a more diverse board, that your company does better. So, I mean, the point I'm making is, is that women are terrific. I mean, are you kidding me? So this idea of really studying it is a really good idea. We need more women in leadership, more diversity in leadership, because that's where decisions are made. Because 50% of humanity are women and our voices are not being heard. and. Uh, I think women have much more inclusive style of leadership. They think about everyone. They think about women and men and children and elderly parents. It's never one project. It's um, the whole community. We don't have to be like men. What often groups consider as weaknesses in female, oh, they are kind of soft. These are the strengths. Women are, have for long and long and long been facing barriers and they've had to come up with solutions around them. And so that skill, I would suggest, is beneficial in being a leader. We live in a world in most ways, if you start to study it, um, that is shaped and has been shaped by men. I mean, our language, our cities, our economy, businesses, um, even families. And so it's really important to get women into leadership positions so that we can start to transform those structures so that it works for everyone.